What's up guys, it's Dwayne back again for another video, back here for the reaction of today's a great, wonderful, beautiful day. Do you know why? I will tell you why, because it's another Germany day. 20 must eat foods at German Christmas markets. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. Christmas markets. From late November until Christmas or even until the end of the year, there are more than 2,500 Christmas markets opening throughout Germany. To wow. forget about- 2,500. Wow. By the way, I love German markets. Not that I've been to Germany or been to an actual proper one, but in England we have German markets. We have them in all our major cities. And that's the only time I'm able to try anything remotely German in terms of food. But I, I still don't feel like I've been to a proper one because they're really small compared to yours, I, probably. Um, so I'm really looking forward to watching this video and seeing what a real German Christmas, Christmas market is like. About dark days and freezing temperatures, going to a Christmas market might be every German's favorite thing to do at this time. But what is so great about these markets, you might ask? Well, maybe it is the highly encouraging culture of drinking hot alcoholic beverages starting mm. around noon for every day of the week. What's up, everybody? My name is Tipsy D. <laughs> Seriously, Tipsy this is kind D. of a family place, but at the same time, the year's best excuse for everybody to get daytime or evening wasted without being considered strange or inappropriate. But aside from drinking, there's also plenty of amazing seasonal food and in this video we are taking oh, you wow. on a food tour and introducing you to must-eat food and dishes at a German Christmas market. The food looks so good. Hello. Uh, ich hätte gerne eine roter Glühwein, bitte. Ja. All right, it's Christmas time, which of course means blue vine season. Blue vine is just mulled wine with some spices in there, and it tastes so good. And just the smell reminds me of Christmas here in Germany. Oh, yes, it tastes like alcohol. Yes, you're right. You kind of need to start every German Christmas market with a glue vine because that's the main reason the Germans and everybody here comes to the markets to just like get your warm drinks on and uh, it definitely helps with this cool time of the year. This was a four euros for the glue vine and then there's a three euro fund. So that means if you bring the cup back, you get your three euros back and we're yeah, going to do yeah. that. They do that in England and the German markets. I have, okay, okay. I think our German markets might be a little bit Accurate, quite similar to yours, hopefully. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I haven't got a cold. I just, you know, ever just have a sneeze? Just came on. So this thing here is called a Reibekuchen, at least in this area, in the other German areas. It's just a Kartoffelpuffer, and it's pretty hot. So it's basically made of this potato shreds, deep fried in this nice oily section over there. And then you have the choice of different toppings, and we chose Ooh. the Kräuterquark, which is like an herbal quark cream. It looks like a massive hash brown with like cream on top. That looks good. <laughs> Regardless, it's deep fat fried, it's crispy on the outside, it's fluffy in the middle. Delicious. And whoa, it's really hot. It is very common throughout Germany and very common at the Christmas markets. So here we go, let's try it. It's so that nice, man. Crispy. The outside is very crispy, as you might have just heard, and then the inside is super soft. Like, there's a big difference in consistency in the wow. texture of this. And then the quark on top just gives it a nice contrast. Fried potato. Just very good. Mm. Mm, so good. One thing that is super common also across Germany is mushrooms. grilled champignons, grilled mushrooms. We have a very special version here. It's a Never version with that. chili cheese. Like they put cheddar cheese on top and then these jalapenos. They were all so it's just mushrooms with cheese and jalapenos. Okay, I'll try it. I've not seen that in our Christmas market. Um, also grilled with onions already. I hope they're going to be amazing. Let's see how this is. So I'm going to dig in here. I'm going to try to get a jalapeno, jalapeno. and a jalapeno. mushroom. It's pretty saucy on the bottom, actually. Ooh. There we go. There's some melted cheddar cheese on top. And we'll see how good that is. 
Ooh, they are spicy. Sometimes they taste like nothing, <laughs> but these are actually have a good kick to it. It's fairly saucy and the sauce on the bottom, I don't know if you can see this here. It's like a typical gravy sauce. So that mellows the, the spice down a little bit. Overall, grilled mushrooms are very good. Chili cheese, I would say only go for a version like this if you're really into that chili cheese taste. Mm. There are so many options at these markets and we can Churros. definitely recommend getting a potato twister, which is a big potato cut what? into a spiral form, then deep fried and topped with flavorful powders. I want it. I need it now. That looks delicious. <laughs> that looks delicious. I want it. I need it. I need it in my life. I don't know what that is. It looks crispy. It looks spirally. It looks potatoey. And she's putting some type of seasoning on it. And I just know it's going to be nice. I need it. Or you might want to look for a langosh. This deep fried oh. flatbread comes from Hungary, but it's a staple at German Christmas markets. And toppings range from just oh sugar to sour God. cream, cheese, or bacon variations. Ad delicious. And does that get folded flat? Or is it all raw inside like that? Oh, yes. I need to go to Germany now. Yesterday. I need to go, <laughs> I needed to, go to Germany yes yesterday. I should be there right now eating this. I don't know. If you are more into say. the surf than the turf, another popular and healthier option is Flamlux which is a Finnish-style salmon that is cooked right there on open fire and then served in big wow. pieces or as a sandwich. All right, so we have... I'm going to put on like 10 pounds when I go there because I'm going to need to try and sample everything. Everything looks so good, guys. Wow. Raclette, which is a very popular thing to get at a market here Raclette. in Germany. So we have a nice toasty bread here. You get the choice of garlic butter or kräuter butter, oh which is God. like a spice butter, and uh, then cheese. Guys, I thought I'd been to a Christmas market, but no. I thought I'd been to a German Christmas market because we have them. Ours is a fraction of what you get here. I've never seen half the stuff they're talking about food-wise. Like, I haven't been to a I haven't been. I need to go to cheese. yours. You saw I'm scraping off that cheese, putting it on there. It's so fresh. Cheese. Give it a oh. try. So mm. good. I mean, bread, cheese, and garlic. Yes. What more do you want out of life? So good. All right, so we ate a couple things, so we came back and got another drink because there are a lot of different drink variations, not just the red glue wine. This is an Apfel Quitten Punch, and uh, these have a little bit of a, what is it, diuretic effect on me. So, here we go. That's nice, definitely fruitier than the regular glue wine. Apple is just nice and warm, cold in any type of form, right? Fruit cake as a drink yeah, with some alcohol. Apple. Apple's it's the way to do it. They have a few of these little built sheds throughout the city. You can go in. It's nice and cozy. This wood feeling around you and this apple thing. That's my stuff. It's so good. Düsseldorf is a little more spread out. They have different pockets of uh, Christmas Düsseldorf. market stalls. And this one has a little more medieval feeling. There's a lot more wood. It's getting cooler and uh, I really like it over here. One thing you cannot do, you can't go to a German Christmas market and not have a sausage. So there are yes. different types of bratwurst, there's currywurst, all different kinds, Krakauer, uh, that's the kielbasa sausage, and we got half a meat. I wouldn't know what to do with all your, you've got so many different varieties of sausage, like I don't know, I just need, I need my hand held, like I need someone to show me <laughs> which sausages are which, because you have a lot, you're like the master of sausage a meter of sausage in a baguette cut in half because the baguette that is too short so I guess good. and uh, so it's two layers and then you have the choice of mustard and ketchup we got both on each side and it's a very standard thing to eat a lot of sausage on any type of market or Christmas market in Germany mm. you have two wieners in there mm -hmm. holy smoke it's actually pretty thin wieners 
but they're very flavorful, so mm. I like it a lot. I can't tell which I like better, mustard or ketchup, but this is a classic. It's probably the classic, the bratwurst. Have you ever had two wieners and one bun? How many blue buns have you had? I feel like after a few blue buns, this always tastes so good. The more you drink, the better food tastes. Why is that? Mustard or ketchup? Mustard. This Christmas market in Düsseldorf feels very integrated into very a nice. polished city. But frankly, it could benefit from some activities like the medieval section in Hanover offers. We did axe throwing one awesome. year, shot crossbows the next, and one of our favorite things was an entire Christmas forest they built to hang out in. In Düsseldorf, on the other hand, they have an Armani Christmas cube. An Armani Christmas cube. I need to go to, your cities look amazing as well. Hanover and Dusseldorf. But to be fair, there's also an amazing ice skating ring and curling lanes. Wow. All right, so we came kind of to the main section of the Christmas market here in Dusseldorf. This is right at the northern end of the Kö, the Königshalle, the city center basically. And they have this ice skating ring on that side and then a bunch of stalls with all kinds of food That's all around. Awesome. And they actually built this huge wooden house here. This two-story huge cabin and they just made that for the Christmas market. And Look at how big that is. So in Leeds, where I'm from, Yorkshire, uh, north of England, they have a Christmas market and then they have like, they do, we do have an ice skating rink from like, I think it's like January to like, to like March or something. But it, we have to take down the Christmas market to fit in the ice rink because it's in the same square. They use the same space for the ice rink and the German market, so we can't have them at the same time. That's so unfair, whereas you guys have these massive buildings that are put up just for the Christmas market. That is cool. You and take it, it looks seriously. pretty awesome here. This is probably my favorite section so far, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna see what else we can find. How big is it? So awesome. If you have more of a sweet tooth, you definitely came to the right place. Amongst the sweet must-tries are churros, chocolate glazed fruit, roasted uh, almonds, candied uh, apples, quarkbällchen uh, uh. or other types of fried dough and of... Guys, guys, what is this? I should have married a German. <laughs> I should have married a German. Like, wow. The food is amazing. Of course, crepes. I love a crepe. So we have this Mützen, uh, which Mützen. I've never heard of that name before. I know it as Quarkbällchen. So it's this fried dough using quark in there and then topped with powdered sugar. It's very deep fried. It's very good and crispy. Let me just open this one up. Oh, oh. look at that steam. This looks fluffy. All right. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is really fresh, cakier than the ones I'm used to, which I really like. It's just like, it reminds me a little bit of funnel cake. It's awesome. I love it. So good. The best place to be on the Christmas market? Five guys. So we're in the heart of the Old guys. Town right now, and this is the Rathausplatz, I think. So it's the City Hall Square. We're very close to the River Rhine now. This is the most medieval looking part of the city. And of course, they have a couple of stands here too. Like Diana said earlier, there are like five or six different pockets of smaller Christmas markets. And uh, this one has a very nice backdrop. Very nice. So Christmas is big business in Germany. Big business. You guys love Christmas. So we walked through the entire old town and we're right at the River Rhine now. So the city kind of ends here. And this is the Burgplatz, like the castle square. One highlight here is they have this Ferris wheel. And this was already up a couple weeks before they started the Christmas market. But it's going to be here for the whole Christmas market. And uh, it's very colorful and nice. So you guys put up a whole entire Ferris wheel just for your Christmas market. See, that's commitment. We don't have that in the UK. We don't have that commitment. Well done. That is a commitment to put a whole entire Ferris wheel up. I just feel like with Christmas, people, oh, well, in England, we I think we think about America because they're obsessed with Christmas. I think we think about Sweden, Norway, and you know 
up in the North Pole where Santa's from. But you know what? I don't know if we think about Germany enough. I know we do have your German markets in our cities, but actually, you guys take Christmas to a whole new level. <laughs> to a whole new level. Like, I need to go to Germany at Christmas. I really, really do. Like, I really, really want to. I have to. I will. I will, guys. I will. Because they're saying subscribe, you can you subscribe to my channel? We're at 500. I'm so happy. Thank you very much for subscribing, guys. Um, yeah, for more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel. All right, we got something I had to get, but it might not be super German Donna Christmas. Kebab. Marky, but we saw this stall that had cheese döner kebabs, meaning uh, instead of a the big skewer of meat they usually have, they had a big skewer of cheese. cheese. And they scraped it off like they do with the meat and put it in the döner. You have three options. You could Mate. put salmon on top, you could put bacon on top, and zucuk, which we have, and I think that is some type of Turkish sausage. It's very Bro, cheesy. You guys are elite with food, man. You've got so much variety of like really good really good like takeout food like street food like you guys really know how to do i'd say like looking at this germany is a food destination it is a place to go for food wow thing very heavy um this thing was eight euros and I'm, as a leading german doner expert actually worldwide <laughs> just gonna see yeah, yeah. how good this thing is The first bite is actually very good. And there's a lot of flavors in there. Yeah, it's like peppers in there, tomatoes and uh, coleslaw, all stuff. And there's also carrots in there. I was a bit skeptical. I was thinking, let's do this for a joke, but it was very good. I love it. Wow. It smells really good. We got the knoblauch sauce, the garlic sauce. There was also kräuter sauce looks... so that you could get as well. Let's just give it a try. Amazing. Dang, this is good. Mm. <laughs> I think this is a vegetarian option for a dinner because you could get it without the meat. The vegetables are just grilled. They're so nice. This is a pepper. I think the sauce is killing it. This is awesome. We stepped off of the market a little bit. It's raining, so we have some cover here. So we have Käsespätzle mit uh, Zwiebel, Rostzwiebeln. So this is on every single market, not just Christmas wow. markets. I feel like, uh, you know, gourmet markets, any summer outdoor markets, you'll often find this in Germany. It's really cool. They had what a machine it, that they drop the noodles in there, they boiled them, then they put them on a pan and put cheese on it, mix it around till it melted, and then added the roasted onions on top. Yeah. So they're like mushed, because it doesn't look like noodles. It's like mushed noodles with cheese and like crispy stuff on top. So it's kind of like the equivalent to mac and cheese in Germany, isn't it? Right. Yeah, well, we'll see, we'll see. It is hot, it is steaming, it looks awesome. Let's go. It's nice, I like this one. There were a lot of mm. options. There were some like Jäger sauce, some cream sauce and stuff too. We did the cheese, which is the traditional option, and uh, it's so good. Mmm, shove it in there. Mmm. This year's theme here seemed to be a lot of cheese yeah, everywhere. I feel like cheese is everywhere this year. Cheese, there's a lot I like of cheese. That we added the onions, gives it a crunchy texture. I love in cheese. In comparison uh, I to the rather soft noodles and cheese. I like it, it's good. Yeah, and it was a little extra for the onions. 50 cents, but worth it. This is, this is making me hungry. Why did I watch All right, this? We got dessert, it started <laughs> raining, and we found shelter here at this Glühwein stand. We have a huge Dampfnudel, which is basically a Dampf steamed Nudel. noodle or dumpling, and it's this huge dough ball. You can choose between different toppings. Oh. Everything has vanilla sauce, but then there's Nutella, there's a cherry sauce topping and different stuff, but we never had it, so I'm I've very curious. I've never seen anything we just like got this in here, before. And it seems very fluffy doughy on the inside, so I'm not really sure what this is made out of. So first time Dampfnudel ever. Mm. It looks like an alien brain floating in the yeah. open skull or something. Wow, what a great way to describe that. I expect it to be having a little bit more of a bow consistency, like a bow texture, 
but it's not. It's definitely drier, and I think you really need some sauce with it. Otherwise, it would just be like a big round piece of toast. It's okay. It's not my favorite. <laughs> big round piece Every time of we toast. pass these things, I think it looks like a giant baozi, which is like a Chinese fill bun. But this is not filled with anything, so the sauce is uh, what's making the moisture. It looks like. Okay. It's just a dry bun. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's a bit <laughs> mediocre. All right, we're gonna end it here. It's, it's raining pretty bun. heavily, and as you can see behind me, the rain cleared out a lot of people from the market as well. Let us know what your favorite food at a German Christmas market or Christmas. May I don't even know. He said, "What's the favorite food?" I, I guys, I just, I just, I, I want all of them, all of them, every single one. <laughs> I need to come to Germany, Ge just for the food alone. I will jump on an airplane to come and like sample of all the foods <laughs> and your Christmas markets are absolutely elite compared to ours in England I thought I had been to a German market I haven't been to a German market I've been to a fraction of a German market like I've had none of these the only thing I I noticed that I was like okay I've seen that before is the breakfast the sausage just a sausage that's it and then uh, the crepe and the um, oh, what they're called, um, a juros, and that's it. I've not had any of the other stuff that was there. I've not seen any of the other stuff. So yeah, guys, I um, need to make a trip to Germany ASAP. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until the next one, I will see you very soon. <laughs>